Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff. If you're a Christian entrepreneur like me, you know how important it is to build our businesses on the foundation of God's word. That's why I wrote my new devotional, Navigating Entrepreneurship Through the Lens of Scripture, a 30-day journey for Christian entrepreneurs. And I wanted to let you know that it's now available on Amazon. And you can also check it out at navigatingbiblicalentrepreneurship.com forward slash devotional. How do kingdom printers do business God's way? What does faith in business really look like? What strategies and mindsets are required to grow your business and fulfill your God-given purpose? Those are the questions this podcast will answer. My name is Jeff Elder, and welcome to Business God's Way. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder. In case we haven't met before, I appreciate you hopping on to this episode. I hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope that you took some time in the midst of all of the celebration and the time off that you actually did reflect on all of those who have sacrificed their lives and who have served this country so that we can have the freedoms that we have today. I know I had a great weekend. It was pretty relaxing. My birthday was on Friday as well, so it was a nice long weekend for me. Also had an opportunity to go visit here in the town that I'm that I live in. Every year they put up about 3500 flags and they open it up to the community for people to be able to walk and to just reflect. And I've been wanting to do that for a very long time. And every year I just, I've never really made it happen. And so this year I dragged my friend along with me and said, hey, let's go check this out. And I'm really glad I did because it it just was a great visual of the sacrifice that so many people have made, again, for the freedoms that we have in our country. So here we are again on another episode. And today I want to talk to you about developing your core values. This is something that was brought to my attention about a year ago. And I told myself, Jeff, I probably should sit down and write out my core values. What are my core values? And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And pretty soon I started hearing more and more people talking about creating your core values. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I attended a five-day workshop. And the first day was all about creating your core values. And so I couldn't ignore it anymore. And it did require a lot of work, a lot of thought. But man, I am so glad that I took the time to do this. And why is this important? Why why is having a list of your core values important? Well, if you think about the brands that you love, typically they're going to have some some kind of values that resonate with you. People are attracted to these brands because of the value or the values that they possess. Now, I'm not talking about company values, which is more of an internal set of values that can be developed for your employees and your team, that's important. But what I'm talking about is you as the entrepreneur, what are your values that you can put out into the world that will attract your ideal clients? Because when we, when we operate our business, 
out of these core values, those things will just automatically show up. They'll automatically show up. People will see, hey, there's something different about this business, about this entrepreneur. And there's going to be this, this attraction to your business based on your core values. And so what I want to encourage you to do is I want you to take some time and I want you to make a list of four or five core values that you have as an individual. What do you hold to? What are the non-negotiables in your life when it comes to the values that you possess? And so I want to share my values that I came up with. And I came up with six. And these are my non-negotiables. The first one is faith. Of course, faith is a huge value of mine. I base my entire business around it. I help other kingdompreneurs with their business around a foundation of faith. And so, of course, for me, faith is going to be a huge component of my core values. Growth. Growth is another core value because I realize that I need to continue to grow. And that needs to be a core value of mine because when I stop growing, I stop leading. I need to be growing. I need to be learning. I need to be constantly changing who I am on a daily basis. So I need to have a growth mindset. Another core value of mine is grace. Grace. I want to be known as somebody who shows a lot of grace to people. I want to be that person where you don't have to feel like I'm going to go off the handle if you make a mistake. I don't want to be that person. I want to be a person who exercises grace because God does that with us, does he not? Does God not exercise a lot of grace towards us? And I believe we are to be a reflection of that. So grace is one of my core values. Generosity. I want to be somebody who gives back. I want to be generous because I realize that everything I have is because of God, because of him alone. And I cannot be greedy with that. I need to be generous. And that is why I chose generosity as one of my brand values, one of my core values. Accountability is next. I, I realized the importance of keeping myself accountable. Yes, first and foremost, to God, but to those around me, to my friends, to those who care about me, to my fellow Christian brothers and sisters. I need accountability. I need people to, to call me to the corporate when I need to be called to the corporate to encourage me and to help me make sure that I'm following through on the things that I say I'm going to follow through on. And then the last one is meaningful work. Meaningful work. And this is so important to me because early on in my entrepreneurial journey, towards the middle part of that, I really started to struggle with this whole idea of meaningful work. I was doing work, we were growing a business, but for me, there was no meaning behind it. And I wanted to do something that had significance, 
I wanted to make sure that my work mattered. And that's why I chose to get into what I'm doing now, working with Christian entrepreneurs, because now I feel like there is purpose behind what I do. There is meaning behind what I do. And that is a core value of mine. So let me repeat mine. Faith, growth, grace, generosity, accountability, and meaningful work. Now, here's the thing that I want to convey here that's so important. As I live out these values in my life and in my business, I will start to attract other people that have very similar values, right? Those become my ideal clients. I want people of faith, right? That's a no-brainer for me because that's my whole business, right? I work with people of faith and therefore I need to attract people of faith. I want to attract growth-minded people, People who understand that they are constantly needing to grow. I want to work with people that have a lot of grace to offer. I want to work with generous people. I want to work with people who understand accountability and keep on their word. And I also want to work with people who understand that their work matters. And so as I live these values out myself, I will naturally attract the same type of person and they will be attracted to me and my business. And going through this exercise has really opened my eyes to the power of creating core values for yourself. It is, it becomes your North Star. It becomes who you are. It becomes your non-negotiables. It becomes the thing that people can look at and become attracted to so that they are just, they can't wait to meet you. They can't wait to work with you because you are resonate at a whole different level. And so I want to encourage you this week to sit down. I came up with six. You don't have to come up with six, but I would challenge you, come up with at least four or five core values. Pray about it. Ask people close to you about what they think makes you different, what they think you value the most. Get some feedback. Write down your core values and pray about it. And I would love to hear what you come up with. So if you want to let me know which core values you landed on, I'd love to hear. Head over to Instagram and you can DM me over there. Uh, You can find me there at JLDRA. And I'd love to hear what values you came up with. And so that's what I wanted to talk about this week was creating your core values and why it's important why it's important for you to have core values because it's going to be the way that you will attract your ideal client who resonates with your unique core values because people are drawn to brands that have strong values. And that is why I took the time to do mine and I'm inviting you to take the time to do yours as well. And hey, I want to remind you that if you have not left a review or rating for this podcast, I would greatly appreciate that. You can head over to Apple Podcast to do that. It helps to grow this podcast. It helps it to get into the hands of other kingdom printers just like yourself. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I'm praying for you guys. Continue to do business God's way. Until next week, God bless.